The decoration is very beautiful. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I decided to take an evening walk and to tell those guys I decided to take an evening walk. This evening walk is all about saying if it's safe for me to walk around in Moscow in the evening as a foreigner or as a black guy or an African. Because some people have been telling me like bro, how safe is it to walk around Moscow? So right now I'm heading to take a metro to the center and to some places where I'll be making this work and you will be the judge of all if it's safe for me to walk around if it's not will, yeah, will I be harassed will people stop me will my bag be stolen will my item be stolen you will, make the, you will be the judge of it let's see so I'll be waiting for my train to arrive in the next one minute 56 seconds what i said on time it's already here this looks like a theater on this road see a lot of Street music going on. You guys can see it. It is 10 o'clock in the evening, and here is Kievsky Vaxal, which means Kievsky, Kievsky train station. And here is the tire shopping mall called Tesse. Shopping mall Europe. A lot of expensive things are sold in this place. I'm outside here taking a walk and it is 10.05 Moscow time because I won't say Russia time because some people it is 12. 12 a.m. in the night some people is already 2 a.m. in the night some people is already 4 a.m. for them and some people is already 5 a.m. in the morning and some people is already 7 a.m. in for them because in Russia there is 11 times off see how this bus station is looking like and then, so people are coming to, to take selfies it's so beautiful and the point is the charging point. There's a charging point here. Really. This is how it looks like. This is what. I'm still here, taking a walk around. Nobody has snatched my backpack or stolen my camera. Just keep in mind. Always have an open mind. Don't always believe in everything you read. Yeah, some people have gotten bad experience. I'm not saying that some people don't have bad experience. There is. But, I'm not, but when someone discusses about a bad experience, doesn't mean that everywhere is like that. People ask, ah, there are, a lot, there are no lots of blacks, so how is it safe for a black person to be living in Russia? They are skinhead, they will kill you on the street and the government will not do anything. It's not safe there. Bro, what are you doing here? First of all, guys, I came here to study. I had the opportunity to study in Russia, so I picked up the opportunity. It was a scholarship opportunity, so why should I pay my school fees when I had the opportunity to come and study free of charge? So I came here. So me, that's the reason too. And I came my father that not everything the media says is really true. Mm -hmm. 
so as i was saying i got a lot of questions like why russia i was like why shouldn't we russia they say no that place you can't survive they will kill you bro they are racist there are lots of people that don't like black people especially foreigners especially black people you'll be killed bro i was like seriously i said seriously they said yes i said nah bro that's not true my friends are already studying and living in russia they told me it's not like that i said no they are lying to you bro they are lying to you i was like okay guys let me get to the country first then i'll make my conclusion so when i came to the country okay yeah when i came there were some things that we were told our teacher was like do not go alone outside in the night always go in pairs but honestly guys i didn't go out i went out most nights without a friend only me nobody harassed me nobody disturbed me i i think it all depends on i'm not saying there are no evil people or racist anyway everywhere in the world but i think it depends on you too yeah sometimes you might be unfortunate to encounter such people but i think it also depends on you if you respect yourself i think automatically people will respect you there's a way you carry yourself and people will not even attempt to do anything or treat you bad if you respect yourself respect the people's culture respect their their ethics and all those things i think you will hardly encounter a problem even yeah sometimes i've met some people actually most times this i look so long so when they are drunk that some of them when they are drunk that's when they, i know that this guy is very drunk so i don't put seriousness in the discussion because he's already not correct he's not already in his um, sense so no need to start a conversation with him i just let it go i know some people will engage with the person like but you have to understand he's already in the how they call it sustain appearing yeah? like they say in russia it's, it means sustain no in english it means he's already high let me I don't know. oh boy let me see. he's under the influence of alcohol so i have nothing reasonable to communicate with him so no, I, if you guys can see it, in front there is moscow city and right now i'm going to cross the road i'm waiting for the light to be going for me to cross then i will continue the discussion and the exploration of moscow at night and today is saturday which is a lovely day because the weather today was amazing you can see it is 10 already getting to tented the people are still enjoying the evening taking a walk and i'm also with them and nobody has really stopped me and started talking to me and telling me what are you doing here and so does it mean that i will not encounter such people of course i will encounter there are there is in every nationality you can see self in front of me is a black girl walking you see so in front this is the ukraine hotel before but now it's called radisson hotel collection kind of so, and there the white house which was called province to that means state house and that place there was a lot of history i guess in the 1993 something happened during that period maserati i don't know if you guys can see it and yeah it's called the redison collection hotel moscow this building there are several of it like this but with a little bit different design but they resemble each other i heard it was built during the they call it stalin's building it was during his era during his time as the soviet leader that he he built this kind of building 
guys you can see the cars in the parking lot i don't know if the light is letting you guys see it you can see a jeep you can see a lambo you can see a s clark range rover bm this is a quick view of the hotel and you can see there is even a red carpet for vip to get a, to get a room in this place <laughs> You have to be not very rich, of course, but sometimes you hardly get there. I heard some part of it is an apartment, some part of it is a hotel. This is another view from this place. A movie set was done here, and I can see most of these are actors that were involved in the movie set. So they said, Sure, sure, I mean, it is the end of the shoot you can see movie set and of course this beautiful evening walk with expensive cars around movie directors i hope youtube will not copyright me see bentley's see the cars that are here guys they are not very cheap cars very expensive that's to tell you there is money in this country anybody that says sanction affected russia is lying yeah it might have affected some people of course i'm not trying to downplay the fact that it never affected some people of course it affected some people but still you can see there is money still in the country people are cashing out businesses are going fine all these cars that have been bound from being imported or will I say direct imports into the country are still existing you can see Ferrari you can see Porsche G-Wagon see people came out this place man I like coming out in the evening sometimes that's why weekends just to get some motivation to let you know that there are a lot of things ahead that you should aspire for don't just relax a few things because a lot needed to be achieved buses are still working see this is almost getting to 12 a.m. but you can see the business on the street Moscow never sleeps that Ferrari it's letting you know I'm around guys give me space <laughs> this is Moscow guys this is Moscow this is me again and I've walked almost two hours and I have not been harmed <laughs> sorry guys I'm not trying to do anything crazy but this is to answer those people that asked me is it safe for a black guy or an African to work in Moscow or to live in Russia and I'll say yes have there been incidents where someone got themselves killed of course yes I'm not saying it's 100% safe nowhere in the world is 100% safe but the safety here is high you don't have to worry about safety as long as you try to respect yourself respect the people's culture respect their beliefs you might and obey the laws too not just respect but also obey the laws because if you come to this country or if you are in your country someone visits and they start misbehaving you won't be happy so how do you expect people to be happy with you when you come to their country and misbehave see i've been walking around and nobody have uh, encountered or said anything to me just enjoy my night walk and you can see people came out to, to enjoy the evening because the weather is amazing today why not enjoy this is the spirit of summer so i'll be sharing a little bit of some areas and i will not to make this video long i'll just be sharing some important places then we'll see how it goes hope you enjoyed this video guys 
and thanks again for your support and your likes and subscription is your one and only yes bobby this is typical moscow everywhere is very busy traffic police everywhere trying to control taxi that's why the fastest means of transportation in moscow is um, subway because even if you use a taxi in some roads in moscow they are lane for taxi but still you can be late to your meeting or anywhere you are going to go so the best way to go is through uh, what's it called it's through metro or uh, 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 bus bus buses you can see they are still queuing so it's a very difficult um, thing Busy road. Busy people are out. See a lot of people. This is Moscow. These are Texas. These are Yandex Texas. They are the company that over left uh, Russia or they bought over. So now this is a busy road. This is the center of Moscow. Differently, because I know this video, I'll be having issue with copyright because of the song. There it is, what it is. Yeah. <laughs> 
fell in love with some Russian stuff. The decoration is very beautiful. So it looks amazing. Just imagine how it's looking now. Imagine then if a snow is falling. It will be very, very, very beautiful to watch. What announcement is made now? This is about to be closed, so us respectful citizen, the square is about to be closed. Please start getting out of the square. Thank you. This is the goom. This is Westbury guys in the evening. It's already 12 noon. 12 noon. That's a sign that it's, it's already 12 noon. Another new day. I don't know if you guys can hear it. See the birds flying. White doves. Can you hear the bell, guys? It's officially 12 a.m. Moscow is saying good night, everyone. Good show. I'm transferring myself to This is me, this is 2 a.m. in the night and I'm walking home. Some people might say it's dangerous for you to be walking alone. Or in the natural circumstances, will I say, that's true. Night is when people do a lot of crazy things. But on the other hand, it also shows that the city is developed when the security level is high when i mean high i mean that irrespective of the fact that it's not good to walk in the night but still you are safe to walk home without having that mindset that you might be mobbed or you might be robbed or something bad can happen to you at least you are sure that 90 percent 
you are safe then 10 percent or five percent probability anything can happen because life is unpredictable even in the most safest place things do happen we still have already told us that even the most safest places in the world that have the most strong security still got attacked so sometimes error happen even people that studied mathematics and physics you guys already know that is what they call in calculation when you do calculation that is what they call error error this thing was plus minus because life is that bit this is to show you that irrespective of the fact all this can happen still it is still a safer place to work this is not my first time of doing this am i encouraging people to be working alone at night no i'm not here to promote that but what i'm trying to say is what i'm trying to say is even if you find yourself you have to study your area of course when they say russia is safe it's safe of course but you have to understand you are mentioning a country you are not mentioning there are a lot of places in the country that might not be safe but i have not been there but when people say russia is not safe sometimes you have to ask them where they are they implying where are they talking about because some place might be safe another place might not be that safer so you have to verify where and where are you but in general it is a safe place to be so that's my conclusion that i can say that i'm 90 percent safe when i get my and when i go outside be it in the place where people are a lot or be it in the place where people are few i've never been mobbed thank god and i've not been robbed thank god but it doesn't mean that if someone experiences that i should not say it happened it didn't happen but on my own personal view about safety in russia it's okay so thanks to the administrative for doing that and for the people too not just the administrative because people too if the administrative imply enforce the law on them and they don't have it in in them too it can't work out so the people too have an open mind not as the way they say so they are welcoming so it's not only about the government beefing up security but also the people also behave themselves I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you for your support. Bye.